10 hours later. Have to put some fucking elevator music on in this bit. Oh, hurry up. Trendsetters, Fat Cruiser here, your friendly Luwara motor vlogger. How are we going tonight? Now, you'll notice an immediate difference between this and my usual videos, and that's that it's dark. Yes, this is my first night ride. My first decent night ride, anyway. A bit excited about it, to be honest. The weather's been a little bit warmer. And I thought it was the opportune time to get out in the darkness and see what it's like out here in the black nothingness. So let's see how we go. I went and spent a lot of money, didn't I? I don't know about sports bikes. Maybe some of you sports bike owners can leave some comments down below. But I know with a cruiser, with this particular bike, um, there's potential for me to spend a lot of money. Now, I'm a compulsive buyer. So I have been known to be a compulsive buyer. And if I see something I like, I generally look to buy it. And I went and did that just the other night. Actually, what it was, I woke up early one morning and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I got online, started surfing the net, started looking at pillion seats, backrest, started looking at luggage racks and saddlebags and before I knew it I'd added all of this stuff to my shopping cart at cruisercustomizing.com I'd ended up spending almost 1300 US dollars which I think is going to work out at today's exchange rates at about 16-1700 Australian dollars so what I've got on the way is like I said, a, a passenger backrest. Obviously, I'm still on my L's and I can't carry pillions yet, but I wanted it anyway, just because I think it looks great on a motorcycle. I got a rear luggage rack that goes over the back fender. Then I went and bought some support bars for some saddlebags and the saddlebags to go on them. So all in all, I've uh, yeah, spent about 16, 1700 Australian dollars and I'm not feeling guilty about that at all. I can't wait till it gets here, I can't wait to install it, and I can't wait to show you all. But what I wanted to know from you guys is what sort of money are you guys spending on customizing your rides? Um, you know, I, I could see potential for me to spend quite a lot of money on little things, you know, just little things that cust that make the bike feel like my own. And what I wanted to know is what what have you guys spent money on? And you know, ballpark figures and what and what did you spend it on to make your bike feel like it was your own? So I'll be interested to see what what some of the comments are. And so obviously there'll be a couple of uh, installation videos and review videos to come um, as I. Uh, as that kit arrives and, and I get it installed and, and uh, I'll let you know what I think about it. Night, my 
first real night ride. I did take it for a spin just down the road last night, but uh, it wasn't nothing special. But this is the first time I've actually gone for a, you know, a decent ride out in the night. So it's a good experience. Um, I find that I'm a little more relaxed actually while I'm riding in the night time. Um, it, I find, I don't know, it's like I'm a little bit more stressed in the daytime when I can actually see the road. I think I'm worried about, you know, obstacles on the road more than anything. And uh, in the night time it gives me, I, I feel a little less worried about the, the road in front of me. And I'm more concentrating on traffic and uh, what's around me, which is, which is probably a good thing. So I do have Blinky with me once again. And we're just taking a cruise down into Wollongong. We're going to just uh, ride around for a bit, maybe find a place to have a coffee. Not going to be out for too much. Not doing anything spectacular. But should be good at it nonetheless. <laughs> You see all these motorcycle crash videos on YouTube. Now, I must have watched a thousand of them. But most of the time, they're crashing because they're idiots doing wheelies down highways or, you know, they're not buffering or, you know, they're lane filtering at some stupid speed. I know in New, in New South Wales, I mean, I, I'm a learner, I'm not allowed to, but um, lane filtering for fully licensed riders is legal in New South Wales, not exceeding 30 kilometres an hour, right? But you see all these videos, and so they're crashing because of stupidity, most of the time. And it's, it's very, awesome, um, sorry, it's very easy for us motorcycle riders to ride it off as cages are just dumb cunts. You know, the car, car drivers are just dumb and they don't look out for motorcycles, they have no respect for motorcycles, etc, etc. But what I'm wondering, is it really, is it really that way? Or do motorcycle riders bring it upon themselves with some of the stupid shit that they do? So, if I can ask, you know, once again, my subscribers, um, just, just for your opinion on that one as well. Because, I don't know, as far as I can tell, it's usually the motorcycle riders that are causing most of the problems for themselves. And now we're down at the wharf here, it looks like we're uh, the perfect opportunity for a photo, I'd say. social media and make sure you subscribe very important all right guys fat cruiser ride safe and i'll catch you on the flip side